He has it. Hook, hook. He's got you got him. Hook him up. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Your first bed fish, eh? Nice one. Show the camera, Darren. <laughs> there you go. Nice fish off the bed. Off, off the bed. Bass fishing, a universal language. This is a series where we take some Chinese anglers to fish in South Africa's finest big bass waters. I think it's time to get hooked up. What is up guys, Smitty Anning TV today with our first proper fishing day at the Whip. And it is probably about half past five, close to six Cut. right now. Cut. not at the Whip. The Whip, I say the Whip. Yes. What is up guys, Smitty Anning TV today with our first proper day here at Loskop Dam in South Africa. And we're here to catch some dogs. We're talking two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kg bass. Um, yeah, skip that last one. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're going to be throwing a little bit of weightless, we're going to be throwing a little bit of weighted, and we're going to see if we can get some big ones. But this is absolutely an amazing day. And yesterday we got out for a quick afternoon session. Only got three fish, I didn't really make a video about that. But let's hope this morning goes a bit better and we can get some big ones. Enjoy the video and see you guys. Well, we're going to be catching fish anyway. <laughs> In today's first clip, we got Carl Lewis. He is fishing at the pump at Loskop Dam, a very well-known spot for holding some, some good fish. And he is fishing a mojo rig. So almost like a Carolina, just a, a lot smaller of a weight. So it's more of a weightless presentation, but there's a tiny weight just to bring the, the lure down quite a bit. And halfway back to the boat, he got this nice, nice fish, a, a solid two pounder. And um, yeah, well done, Carl. Oh, there's a line of a cable or something here. Just check if you don't go over it. Get you the dog, it's going to be a problem. <coughs> I'm stuck. I think I've got a fish on. I've got a fish on. Something. This is rope that... Yeah, I've got a fish on. <laughs> I knew I had something. Yo, <laughs> on the drop shot. Yeah, talking nicely. Oh no, he's fighting proper. I saw him come up there. It's a nice one. Hey, this boy's fighting proper, gents. <laughs> Yo, dude, this thing is a monster. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> on the drop shot, yes, guys, did you see that hookup? That was the strangest thing, but this is a proper fish and a proper fight on the drop shot. Little type of a bluegill type color ribbed worm, and uh, that's a donkey. <laughs> so, yesterday we spoke to the locals and they said, Come to this pump, there's big fish. We came here, there was my first cast over the line, and um, I thought I was stuck honestly because it was the weirdest take. And then all of a sudden, as you guys saw, but yes, I'm very happy with this fish. This is a proper one. Here we have Carl again. If you guys are enjoying Carl's catches, please be sure to hit that like button. But yeah, he was fishing a mojo rig as well. And he was actually throwing and letting it sit for quite a while. He was dead sticking. And I didn't put the whole thing in the video because watching someone dead stick a bait isn't too entertaining. But he did pick up a nice fish way deep out there. Probably about 50 meters from the bank. And um, you know, he's busy bringing that fish back to the boat. He's asking for the net there. Mr. Wang netted the fish for him. And as you guys can see, that is an absolute giant, yeah. at least at least five pounds um, of solid, pure largemouth bass. Look at that belly, beautiful fish. 
Ich hab Bockkuss! Wie schon! Joy, running! Woo! He wants to shake the Carolina! Yo, this is a big dog! Yo! <laughs> yeah, he's peeling drag. I got 20 pounds here. I could bully this bad boy. Yeah, no. Yeah, this is a donkey. Woohoo! Jonah! Dog. That's a dog, that's a dog, please, please, yeah! Hey, hey. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dog, yeah! Look at the side of that belly. Woo! Ah, oh, look, look at the yes. side of that belly. Look at this dog, James. <laughs> yes, it's short and stumpy, but look at this, this guy's, look at my hand. Yeah, he fills it up. Woo! <laughs> that makes me so happy. 20 pound line, I was bullying this bad boy, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I was actually making a joke, I didn't think it was this big, but it's a donkey. Nice <laughs> fish. Oh, nice fish. Uh, yeah, of course. Bro. Proper one. Feels like. Oh, yeah. Feeling drag, there we go. There we go. John is on with a proper fish, yeah? Hey, hey, he's got a lacquer tea. Just show the cam there. <laughs> Dog. That's how it's done. Proper fish, though. Took it nicely. Just he smacked me, bro. On the deep end, eh? Just go on the deep end. Of course, I'm going to put my line out there now. <laughs> yeah, Kyle's fishing a rocky, a rocky bank on the inside of a bay with a nice uh, underarm roll cast there. And look at that beautiful hook set. Look. Forcing the fish back to the boat. Beautiful hook set though. As you can see, Mr. Wang's getting a little bit of uh, steak and get excited for Carl's pot. And that is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Probably around three pounds. In this clip, you see Carl looking at the trees, looking down in the water, and he sees a massive catfish. And he's like, nope, I'm putting down my bait on the whiskers. And uh, drops it on his face and boom, the catfish takes it and gets a nice hook set and just check that thing running. Absolutely insane. I'm not sure if uh, he really thought that one through, but I can just think that if I was in his shoes and I saw that catfish there, I would put my lure there regardless if I knew if whether I was going to land it or not. And there the catfish wrapped him and he broke off. But uh, that's uh, <laughs> at least a proper adrenaline rush right there. No catfish. Fish on. Nice one. Oh! John on with the nice one over here. Is that a bream? That's a bream. <laughs> is that a bream? It looks look at like the bass a following it. Look at the bass that's following it. That's a bream, man. Oh, no, it's a bass. It's a nice bass. Yeah, look at the. You didn't see the bass following it. You want me to lip landing for you? I saw him. He's still there. This is. No, I almost thought it was a smallmouth. Yeah, it's I not. almost thought it was a smallmouth. This is a proper one. Yes, that thing got colors like smallmouth. Yeah. For a moment, I, 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 I first thought it was a bream, then I yeah, thought it was a smallmouth. Yeah, I know. So, Show the cam there. So, Look nice how fat that thing is. Stumpy. Kordik in ongeskuk. Bam. <laughs> there we go. For everyone that's still watching, thank you so much. But please let me know how you guys are enjoying the voiceover <coughs> over these clips <coughs> and if it's really helpful and if you guys are learning something. But please let me know down in the comment section so I know. Uh, yeah, once again, Carl's fishing the old road here at uh, Los Cop, and he gets a really nice big hook set. One. And you guys can hear everyone's just saying, "Big one, big one." Obviously, the way he took it, and uh, oh, there the fish jumps. That always gets me excited. <laughs> and here, Ying is actually netting the fish, and that is a big net, and that is a big fish. Very nice fish, uh, and Carl takes the stuff out of his mouth, and that is also three, three and a half pounder, one. close to four pounds. Hooked on. On the next <laughs> little male done. Look at that. Proper one. Yeah, it's off a nest, but it's still fun. <laughs> there we go. Carl is fishing a main lake point in this clip. You'll see he's making a very long cast because the water is very, very clear. So the fish see from a mile away. He gets a proper hook set, so actually steps into it to get a lot more power. And you can see they just brought his rod down to try and prevent the fish from jumping. Um, here he's going to boat flip the fish. Also a very nice two pounder, one kg bass about. 
<laughs> As you guys can see, that is an amazing sunset. Anyway, we are done for today. Um, we're about to take the boat off of the trailer and head back to camp. So Jono is busy putting the trailer in the water. But what a beautiful sunset and what an awesome day. Got at least two fish above two kg, five, six pounds. So very happy with that. And then we caught a bunch of smaller ones. And then Darren caught a nice one on the nest. He's back there still fishing, trying to catch another one. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like and subscribe button and comment what you guys thought. If you have any questions about Lost Group Dam, hit me up in the comment section. If I can answer them, I will definitely do so. And then yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Tomorrow is my last fishing day here at Lost Group. And then I have to head back and get a few things sorted. But um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out. I've got my